So I personally think it's way too early to be talking about a cyberpunk sequel, but guess what? CD Projekt Red does not. We're gonna be taking a look at what they recently had to say about whether or not we would be getting a proper cyberpunk sequel in the next few years. Will it be single player? Will it be multiplayer? We're gonna be going over all of that in just a moment plus a bunch of other cyberpunk news as well. But check out the headline right here today. It says cyberpunk sequel hinted at by CD Projekt Red. Let's dive into this post right here. It goes on to say the following, a sequel to cyberpunk seems to be have hinted at by those in charge of developer CD Projekt Red. While the studio as a whole is currently still working on future updates, DLC, and a next-gen patch for Cyberpunk that will release in 2022, it looks like the higher-ups at the company are already planning to also begin working on the future of the franchise in the coming year as well. Plotting and planning, yes. Uh, now, furthermore, they go on to say this as well. It says here, in a new interview with Polish publication, CD Projekt President Adam Kinski talked more about what the company has stated or slated, excuse me, for the coming year. In doing so, Kinski said that CD Projekt Red remains very committed to the two biggest franchises that the studio has produced in Cyberpunk 2077 and, of course, The Witcher. And while Kinski didn't offer up vast details about what it has in store for either, he did seem to suggest a formal follow-up to Cyberpunk 2077 could be in the cards. Let's get into the specifics. Give me the juicy details. It says right here, we are currently focusing on our two franchises. Both have enormous potential. So one of our strategic goals is to start working on a on AAA project, excuse me, in parallel within our IPs, which is expected to happen next year. And furthermore, it says this again, while not mentioning that a sequel to Cyberpunk could exactly be in development, the fact that he mentioned that new AAA projects associated with the IPs could be worked on in 2022 seems to suggest a new entry may come about down the road. Yes, the quote there is super important considering that they mentioned here that the new projects are going to be related to existing IPs and that's going to be, of course, The Witcher and Cyberpunk. So it could be possible that they're going to try, <laughs> try, mind you, to develop The Witcher 4 alongside Cyberpunk 2077 2 or would it be called cyberpunk 2078 i don't know what it would be called what would you guys actually call the next cyberpunk let me know but let's keep going here now a lot of you guys are wondering would they really be making cyberpunk a cyberpunk sequel were they really that successful with the game in the first place well take a look at this headline right here it's a cd product red made hundreds of millions on cyberpunk despite the refunds so cyberpunk is officially the largest game in the company's history so yeah you better believe it they're gonna go all in on cyberpunk as a brand not just as a game because they're playing netflix stuff they probably want to also continue the comic book series and really build this as a full experience at least it seems like that according to the numbers the numbers aren't lying they're seeing good numbers despite the issues and uh, i think they're also going all in right now on cyberpunk 2077 not just a sequel of course but the whole thing and uh, we'll see what happens with the expansion so that's going to be very interesting now furthermore goes on to say this that being said it's important to note that cd project red has worked on other cyberpunk projects in the past that wouldn't be in relation to a full-blown sequel at one point the studio was working on a multiplayer game mode for cyberpunk 2077 but it was later reconsidered by the company because of this, perhaps the new AAA title that can see hinted at could be associated with multiplayer instead. So I have my own opinions about this. I seriously doubt that. You know, they have said they're going to actually pull back from that approach. Um, would they mess with online in the future? Possibly. But given the fact that they've had problems already with the single player game, going all in on multiplayer seems very, very risky. However, also, you do have to remember a lot of the stuff that they are posting for job listings are seemingly single player focused things. They do have some multiplayer opportunities in there, but their job listings are very slim when it comes to multiplayer focus. They have said previously that they would like to add social elements to basically every franchise that they're working on whether it's the witcher or cyberpunk so some sort of online elements will be creeping into our gaming experience when it comes to cd project red uh games now check this out right here this was another post 
out on Reddit, one of the most talked about things going on right now says the following, cyberpunk is not the pile of burning garbage the internet made me believe it was. The opposite, it's fun. Let me see if I can get this zoomed in for you guys a little bit more so you can see it. So it says here, so yesterday I used the Black Friday deal to get my hand on cyberpunk. Previously, I did not buy it for two reasons. I was kind of burned out. Uh, on the open world games, the main reason, and I did not want to ruin my first playthrough by enc encountering too many game breaking bugs. You know, I wanna pause there, it's true. Some of these open world games are so repetitive, so I totally agree uh, with him on that one. This comes from Ballins, uh, Villains, I believe it is. And yeah, you know, that can be a problem. It can definitely burn you out. But he goes on to say this, uh, that's why early on I decided to hold on buying it, avoid uh, streams and YouTube playthroughs of the game and wait till it's a bit patched and a bit cheaper since buying full price, price of AAA games is a luxury for me these days. Yeah, they can be expensive. Yesterday I started to play in on stream and I was a bit worried that the game will crash or it will soft lock, but it's great. The internet spent the last year trying to convince that this game is so broken it's unplayable, but it's not. Yeah, I encountered some bugs, but they're just funny to me as they don't affect my game. Like that is exactly my experience right now. Once again, I'm going through the game uh, this time on PS5. I played it on PC, but yeah, I'm running into very minimal bugs. And when I do, it's kind of like a, a Skyrim glitch where you kind of laugh. Like one of the bugs was Johnny Silverhand. He, he was kind of like halfway through the floor and I'm just like, <laughs> it was really no big deal. Now, game breaking stuff, I can't stand. That's when I really get irritated. But that was just one instance. And I've been playing a couple hours already all right so he goes on to say this so yeah if anybody's still on the fence should they buy and play it i would say go for it especially now when it's on sale everywhere yeah we're seeing people pick it up and finding out hey this game's actually in pretty decent shape yes there's features that are missing from the marketing material way back when but overall the game has a very solid foundation here and it looks like they want to build off of it at least people are really getting some sort of enjoyment off of the game now there's a really interesting fan project going on related to cyberpunk check this out right here it says i've had the joy of working with a very small and talented team for the last 10 months to create a cyberpunk visual novel cyberbang 2069 initial release coming december uh 18th 2021 with the full release coming summer 2022 now hold up it's not what you think it is <laughs> this is actually a digital art experience it's like a art novel or something like that but the title sounds like it's gonna be something totally different i'm just saying that but there's like this really cool trailer here i'll try to throw the links in the description below so you can check this out follow the progress but i'm really curious about what they're working on it looks really really cool i'm not going to play the full thing so you guys can go to them and really enjoy uh it when they actually rele release it excuse me uh but anyway let's get into your top comments about my most latest cyberpunk video shall we so remember as always, leave a comment down below. I love reading what you guys have to say, so by all means, get to it. But uh, yeah, let's get into this right now and see what you guys are uh, saying. So we have this one right here. My most recent video was some great news today, but fans still want answers. Yes, always wanting those answers. But uh, let's scroll down here and see what you guys had to say about this one. Uh, also, yeah, I was wearing my... Uh, new blue light glasses those are really really cool check the uh deal out there now little movie perp says this i'm actually starting to admire your commitment to this game yeah man like i i actually do believe in the potential of this game and i'm wanting to see if they could turn this around i have followed this game so much and i'm just waiting to see what happens of course i'm going to be covering other games in 2022 the one that's on my radar is definitely starfield right now but uh i, I imagine 2022 is going to be absolutely crazy for some reason i'm thinking for gaming 2022 is going to be insane now we have Sarisa who says even though they had a disappointing launch i'm still giving them a chance i can't wait to see what they do with the game and what they add i'm also glad they're hiring modders and i'm so proud and happy whoever gets hired by them yes yeah, so this video was about how yeah it looks like they're seeking even more modders to hire so if you're a modder out there and you have modding experience i would keep going with that because it seems like the future, in my opinion, seems very bright for modders. These companies are seeking you guys. They want you and they want to hire you. So keep going with that. 
it's turning into actual careers. Timber Go says this, it's getting to the point where the only news I want to hear from Cyberpunk is when they announce the next gen update free and paid DLC or next gen patch. The sooner on these, the better this game needs to evolve to what fans were expecting and more. It needs to be more immersive and expanded to the likes of The Witcher 3. I hope they can double or even triple the amount of side quests and or, or excuse me, and maybe even expand the storyline quest, preferably in the beginning with Jackie. This game has so much potential. We can only hope CD Projekt Red can achieve that. Here, yeah. I really want them to flesh out the whole world, especially with like random encounters and things like that. I think that would be really, really cool to see them do that for sure. Now let's keep going. We have I'm Radioactive 30 who says the following, whoa man, you are starting to get more and more sponsors. Your channel is growing. You deserve it for keeping us up. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, you know, I was really taken back by this comment. I was not expecting such Love and support from you guys to have that, like seriously, that meant the absolute world to me when I saw these comments. So yeah, that just keeps me going. So I really, really appreciate it. I'm really trying my best uh, to keep my news, like balance and everything for you all. Keep the hype levels in check. You know, that's super important to me. I don't want to overhype anything, of course. Uh, yeah, so I'm keeping my hype levels also very guarded anymore. But we have Christina Rain who says, About time Cyberpunk is just all around good and just the banter between V and Johnny is funny as hell. CD Projekt Red really hit the mark with this one. Yeah, they have a great relationship in the game. A lot of people really, really enjoy the actual story to Cyberpunk, which tells me they have a good writing team, good foundation here for the future of expansions. You know, it's looking, it's looking interesting. That's all I'm going to say. But we'll see what happens. But thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for the comments and stay tuned for more Cyberpunk 2077. I got you guys covered with anything CD Projekt Red, by the way, whether it's Witcher 4 and also, yes, as I mentioned before, Starfield. So look out for those videos as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Take care.